the defense in your mind? Do you think you have to play much better than that? Uh, yeah, for sure. I think we did a good job for the most part stopping the run, especially a, a team that like that, that, you know, harps on running the ball. And for the most part, I think we shut down um, Derrick Henry. You know, he's obviously going to get his plays and get his yards. He's a great player. Um, but, you know, uh, this transition from week one to week two is very important for all teams around the league. And I think that's when, uh, you know, good teams make that biggest jump uh, in, in assignment and stuff like that. What does it mean to you to be able to play at MetLife Stadium here for the home opener? Uh, it means a lot, you know. I mean, I think we, we need to do a good job this year of uh, bringing back that home field advantage. Um, you know, it starts with winning. It starts with uh, this weekend. And, uh, you know, we're going to try to get that going. Have you had a chance to watch their rookie left tackle yet on tape? What do you think? Yeah, I watched a little bit of them. Um, I, I see they have a lot of moving pieces. They have uh, the guy from the Rams, 63. Um, he's, he's over there playing in the right guard now. And I think they moved their right tackle to left guard. And, um, you know, I, I feel like because they have a little bit of moving pieces, uh, we're going to try to take advantage of their in interior de uh, offensive line. And, uh, you know, yeah. Last week we talked a lot about Henry leading up to the game. Is McCaffrey a similar focus this week? Well, they're definitely different type of backs. McCaffrey's uh, really good in space. Uh, he's a very shifty back. He's, um, he's also like a screen draw type of uh, running back. He's, he's really effective in the passing game as well. So it's, a, it's definitely a different focus on a guy like McCaffrey. What about um, Baker? What do you see in him? you have to keep him getting outside and make the plays on the run? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's definitely a guy that, like, if you let him get heated up, uh, he can make plays and he could be effective and, he, you know, he could do all the things that you want in a quarterback. Uh, but at the same time, you know, if, if we get on him early and often, uh, we can make him frustrated and make him make mistakes. Um, you know, he's known for getting a lot of balls batted down and stuff like that. So we put a lot of emphasis on the D-line and, and guys rushing the quarterback to get their hands up and knock some balls down. And uh, also, he, he drops uh, deep. Uh, he, he drops back pretty deep for an a NFL quarterback. Yeah. Leonard, we don't, we don't know which of your pass rushers are going to play this week. So who's the best pass rusher this week on the team? On our team? On your team this week. Uh, I would say Adore, Adore Jackson. <laughs> 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 that was a plan, just so. Uh, yeah, yeah. When a quarterback <laughs> drops back deep, what's the effect on the line? It has him gives him more space to throw, or what? Uh, yeah, you're just used to like quarterbacks in the NFL like stepping up more when they feel that pressure. Whereas a quarterback like Baker Mayfield, he wants to he wants to make a play, so sometimes he'll drop back even deeper and like try to scramble out the back. Uh, but as a defensive line, sometimes we uh, don't mind that because it kind of gives us another bite at the apple. Uh, if as long as we like keep hustling and stuff like that.